We have intruders. Quick, hide all your belongings. Tasha, where shall I store all your valuables so they don't get stolen? Safe. Great idea, babe, but actually, my mistake, nothing to worry about. It's just two new couples joining the experiment. So just relax. Meanwhile, Ella and Nathaniel are working on their relationship by starting a DIY project together. They're gonna build an extension onto their flat. How's it going, love? I know right now he's gonna be breaking out. But Jay is not so confident about their construction abilities. I need to start bringing my walls down. Thomas has also realised that he's got the same morning commute as Roz. So, we're on the same train. Well, at least that's one thing they've got in common. Hey, it's Yasmin Evans and welcome to Maths UK. It's official. Just when we thought it couldn't get spicier, two brand new couples join the experiment. And a little later on, we'll be joined by another one of our gorgeous brides. Portia will be here on the podcast. But right now, there is a legendary status in the room. Please welcome someone who knows the Maths UK experiment in and out. It's Adrian! Hiya. <laughs> I am so excited to chat to you. Oh, I'm sure there's a lot to say. You're a Maths legend, you know that? I mean, thanks, I'll take it. <laughs> Didn't know, but I'll take it. I'm crowning you now, babes. Um, how does it feel watching the new series? Are you getting some trauma coming back? <laughs> you know what? It is a bit triggering at times. You're like, oh, hang on, what's that? No, but yeah, yeah. no, it's good. It's really great. It's very nice to sit back and not be waiting for something that you do. Yeah, I can imagine. There's a comfort in, no, I'm mm -hmm. not here. I'm not in this. I was not at that dinner party. Thank you. Yeah. Do you feel like, who do you relate to at the, mo the most, like currently? I mean, I'm getting a lot of people saying Ella and Nathaniel mm. are very you and Thomas. Yeah. So. How do you feel about that sort of uh, comparison? I'm all right with it. <laughs> no, I don't yeah. mind it. Quite a compliment, really, isn't it? It is quite a compliment, Listen, actually. Doing it for the LGBT. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. I love, I really love um, the support that Nathaniel has given Ella through this. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. when they were at the dinner party, it was lovely. It was so lovely really lovely. Yeah. Do you know when she walked off on the sofa and that hug that they mm. had, I thought that was probably the nicest moment that I've actually seen from those two. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Okay, so we have intruders. I mean, I didn't like it when they came into mine. <laughs> <laughs> two new couples. Yeah, that's the thing. When the two new couples or the new couples in general join the experiment, what's the general feeling from the originals, the OGs? I guess you've got used to each other. You're in a bubble mm -hmm. and you're so used to each other. It, you get to know each other very quickly. You get to see how people maneuver and then other people come in. And it's suddenly, I remember one particular husband coming in and being very like, this is my house. Mm -hmm. I was like, it's my house. What? It's my house. Why? Hold on why? A you, I don't know who you are. Why yeah. are you in my house? <laughs> and it felt like I will take over the house. And I was like, mm. oh, I don't know about that. So yeah, it felt very different, and everything changed from there. Really? It was Do you think that's what's going to happen? I mean, I hope so. Otherwise, it get boring. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got Erica and Jordan. <clears throat> yes. Erica with her gorgeous blue eyes. They are beautiful eyes. Stunning. Like stunning. It was the first thing I noticed. I'm like, look at this woman and yeah. those eyes. How do you beautiful. think they're going to get on? I think at the moment they're doing all right. I think, I imagine they'll get a little fiery at some point. Mm -hmm. Like, she ain't shy. No. She ain't shy. Can we talk about, like, his his hairstyle is particular, isn't it? And I feel like he looks exactly like Jack, Jack Grealish. Grealish. He's yeah. given me that vibe. And we all it. fancy him. He's I mean, when he was in the pool on the honeymoon, well, at the end of the clip, they showed uh, the honeymoon, didn't they? And I was like, I look at their arms. I've noticed those arms. Thank you very much. <laughs> Um, so Erica's 25, she's a dance teacher. She's in the performing arts, just as you are, you know? Once so, upon a time. Once upon a time. She lives with her grandparents, which I think is really great. You can see that she's got a great yeah. relationship with them. Yeah, it seems lovely. Yeah. Jordan, 26, personal trainer. That's why we know he's got those massive goals. There they are, bam. <laughs> so I think they're both, they're both into their fitness sort of, yeah. you know. So yeah. I think they're going to get on where that's concerned. Yeah, I think they look like a good couple. Like they yes. look like they, you know, yeah. it passes, I believe it. Yeah. Jordan's vows were quite long when it came to the wedding day, which is a little, I just feel like, is that how you truly feel? I always find that the vows are really kind of like difficult to say when you stood in front of a stranger. How did you write yours? 
it took a very well to write them. Yeah, took a very long time. Yeah. I changed it and changed it. I called my friends. I was going through it. I, yeah, I wanted it to be perfect. And then when it came to it, I was sweating. I was shaking. I was, yeah. cr- I think I cried it's at one point. I, I just couldn't speak. Literally couldn't speak. I was stomped because I was in shock. Yeah. You do know you was like married at first sight though, right? <laughs> I know, but then I might be my husband. And- no, that's true. That is true. That is true. So, so we can kind of like give Jordan the blight. The fact that his vows were long, I think obviously you're overthinking it a lot. But they weren't Under Googled. Pressure. They weren't Googled. So and there that's you go. What's important. That's what's important. Okay, so we have Bianca and JJ. Bianca's 29. She's a family girl, an entrepreneur. JJ is 30. He's also an entrepreneur, runs his own fashion brand. He's a former party boy, he says. It doesn't look that former. No. It doesn't look that former to me. He's given me, he's definitely given me like that Essex. He's going to go, he's having a good time. Yeah. What do you think about JJ? Go on. Tell us the truth, Adrian. No, I tell you now, if I could pick a husband. Yeah. I think it would be him. Is he he you? Oh, he is right up my alley. Oh, Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Okay. I really fancy him. Yeah. And like the second I saw him, I was like, oof, I like his clothes. I like his Knows face. How to dress. I like, yeah, he's confident, but also seems gentle. Mm-hmm. Like, that's a hard mix to find. So, actually, so far, JJ. Do you think he's into Bianca? I think that we can very clearly see he's not. I am, I'm struggling. This is one where I, just, I really hope that they can sort of be what each other needs. Oh, well, yeah, that, like. He, he just keeps we going on. Yeah. What each other needs, not what each other wants. But I think that could also meet in the middle at times. Yeah. And I'm not sure that they will. Bianca says she fancies JJ. We all fancy JJ at this rate. I fancy um, JJ. So. JJ said it wasn't love at first sight. It was married at first sight, though. So she's not his normal type. No. But evidently, his normal type. He's not working for him because he wouldn't be on the show in this experiment. See, I don't know when people are like, oh, that's not my type. I'm like, but it wasn't working for you. That's why you came mm-hmm. here. So what's the point in going for your type? I get it. But some people are like, I'm disgusted. I don't have my type. Mm. I why? think what what one thing that I think we're going to see about her is that she's got boundaries and she's going to tell him exactly what she needs and what she's not going to stand for. We've seen the clip for their honeymoon yeah. next time. So they're all about <laughs> to go off on their honeymoon. So we saw in next week's preview yes. that Erica and Jordan look like they're getting on very well. There's a lot of like touching and sort of, you know, in the swimming pools with the big arms, them arms picking man. her up. They are. Um, it obviously might not be the case for Bianca and JJ. Yeah. And then meanwhile, we've got our OGs that have been kind of sort of settling into the real life together. Yeah. Um, because it was Confessions Week. Yes. Which is I think really intense. Mine wasn't, but yeah, it looks so. Uh, <laughs> mine wasn't that intense. Mine was lovely. Me and Thomas loved the, the task. The honest, oh yeah, the task. We loved the task. We loved them. So it's the doing, honesty it? box for me that gets, I think, every time I watch this honesty box happening. I'm like, I get a bit anxious about when it's going to happen. Ah, uh, see, when you're sat at that table and that box arrives, you're like, oh, here we go. Yeah. Like, here we go. And it's not random. Like, you have specific questions for a specific Oh, people. yeah. And you hope, like, because sometimes both partners don't get a question. Oh. So you're hoping that the question is for you yeah. to ask them. So you don't have to answer. Never happened to me. <laughs> Always me. <laughs> Juicy dinner party and a really, really intense commitment ceremony. But we're seeing a lot of the OGs going through to the week. But it's not not After everyone's. the cracks are showing. Oh, babe. Some big cracks are showing. Can we say, go on. Stop kissing. Right. Stop it. It's we like, need to give Brad and Jada a P45. The, I mean, it's getting a little bit to the point of inappropriate. Like, the whole table is looking at them. Like, what is going on? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they both seem really great, really amazing. Mm -hmm. But she's like, why does no one believe us? I'm like, it's been four hours. So, Confessions Week, Brad and Shona. A lot of them are saying that it's just not real. It's not. Because it Is it real, yes or no, Adrian? It's because it looks so, like... It's like they said, let's write a love movie. Like, mm. here it is. It's a bit too much. So is that a no? You, I don't, I'm not you saying think... that there's nothing okay. there. I'm not saying that they don't like each other, but let's say it's been 
elevated. Yeah. Well, Brad has come out. What I think was great about this week was that everyone was supporting the fact that, you know, Brad came out and really disclosed some intimate details about what goes on in the bedroom. I personally think that was a bit out of order. A bit? Yeah. Ever so slightly out and you're, of order. You're, like, you're also not just disclosing it to your friends, you're disclosing it to... The millions of people watching the nation. <laughs> The na- the nation, yeah. like, are you mad? Like, mm. and the, and she said at one point, like, we'd said that we weren't gonna. Like, I found yeah. that a bit tricky. So you had a discussion to not, to not discuss th- it, and I feel like it was very quickly brushed under the carpet that she said we did say that we wouldn't do it. I think they both need to hear each other out, and actually, I think Brad has a lot of confidence, and I think Shona just needs to get that take that a little bit from him, not take his confidence from him, just have the confidence for herself because she's expressing how she's feeling. Yeah. Right, just hear her out, mate. Okay, so Tasha and Paul, they took their relationship to the next level. Yeah, they did. And I would have done it a lot sooner. (laughs) With Paul. Did you see on the honeymoon when she got his touch out? I was like, that is one perfect bump. Massaging the buttocks. I mean, wouldn't you just? Bit of you, put that, get that massage. But that man... He's the sweet... No, it makes me want to cry. No, it's not okay. Like, why are you the most beautiful angel that walked the earth? No. Nah. He's a wonderful, wonderful man, Paul. We love Paul. This is Paul's fan club right here. We love Paul. I was watching it and I was like, I hope he doesn't argue with anyone because I don't think I'll be very happy. No. If anyone shouts at him, like, hashtag protect Paul. Hashtag protect Paul. Yes. Um, So they both chose to say, and we absolutely love that. So we had Laura... Brackets and Arthur, because he was He's not around. He's not around. I, 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 he was ill. He was sick. Was he? But I was a bit suspicious at the beginning. Oh, well, someone was ill on my series, and I was like... Oh. Okay, well, Arthur has been ill this week. Laura flying solo. Good for her, brave. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, I would just would have just sat it out, I think. Oh, I wouldn't. Would you not? No, it's good fun. You just sit there, drink wine, and watch everyone go wild. Ah, oh, okay. Now I'm in. Now I'm fully in. People watching at the best. <laughs> so we're, we're going again. We're, we've got like Laura and Arthur again. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. They're, they're staying. It's fine. Yeah, I think they're totally. Probably... I'm warming to Laura as well. Are you? Yeah. I mean, I think the um, the goal ticket bit was a little bit on the nose for me. Mm-hmm. Crying and... Uh, yeah, I don't know if it was for me, but... I am really warming to her. Okay. Well, let's see how they progress further in this series because we're not seeing much of them, obviously, this week due to him being sick. So moving on to Jay and Luke. Gorgeous, great, fantastic. Oh, Move on. Like, yeah. everything's happy. There's Do you know not what really... it is? That's exactly it. I mean, it. I love them. You're happy. I hope you stay happy. I hope you stay out of the drama. I hope yeah. you stay fresh and clean. You enjoy your life. Good luck. Yeah. Leave before it goes wrong. <laughs> that's, see, that's what I, sometimes I think that, like, save yourself. Yeah, I like it going well, babe. You go on holiday. But don't forget the new couples are coming in and then that could really rock the boat there yeah. for uh, Luke and Jay. Yeah. Can we um, talk about my favourite awkward couple? Ross and <sighs> Thomas. Yeah, I think they're really nice. I think if they took the pressure off the relationship away then they would have a lovely time, but they don't have the same communication. You know, she's given, like, at the beginning, I'm I'm verbally giving mm-hmm. you cues to hug me. But if someone said to me, can we have a hug? I'd be like, mm, a bit awkward now that yeah. you've said it. Probably yeah. should have went in for it. Mm-hmm. Like, but that's me. But and I think she seems like the sweetest, so sweet. loveliest person. Like, I really want to meet her. I can't wait to meet her. Well, Paul gave them a visit to kind of, you know, give them a little bit more reassurance. Yeah. They then sort of, again had sex, consummated the marriage is what everyone's calling it. So I will say that. And I really felt like after that, after they had sex, Roz got really, really emotional. Thomas felt really hurt. They just completely missed each other and what each other needed after that. Then it's really difficult, actually. Yeah. They, I would say that theirs is the most difficult relationship. Yeah, you're right. And it's actually sad because I don't think anyone's a bad guy. They're really trying because in the preview next week... Thomas, I think, did we see Thomas carrying Roz off to the yeah. bedroom? She's like on his back. So yeah. I really can't wait to see what happens next. I think they just need to have fun. Just start laughing. Relax. Chill out, get mate. get drunk. Get wasted. That'll do it, babe. Just get drunk. <laughs> we got Peggy and George. 
So in Confessions Week, they had to rank a list of qualities and they clashed because the George, yeah, had children down below, like really, so, number nine, I think it was on his list. And for Peg, it was quite high up, yeah. maybe two or three. Yeah. So that really sort of like, it's a big, it's a big, it's a big game changer. But I also understand him saying, you know, it would have been for a partner, but then, then that's him saying that he's doing it for her. So mm. then I would be like, well, I don't want you to do it for me. I want you to do it because that's what you want as well. Yeah. Also, one of my favourite things of this series so far throughout is every time he says something, the look she gives him, like, of, like she's like, is that just come out of your mouth? I'm just like, <laughs> the disgust in her eyes. <laughs> and she does not hide it No, whatsoever. she doesn't hide it. Absolute 10. She does not hide it. But the, I feel like that's just their dynamic, isn't it? Oh yeah, but they seem to get back on it, don't yeah. they? Oh, like yeah. one minute that she's one minute she's absolutely disgusted, and then the next minute she's necking him. She hates the fact that he squats backwards, and then all of a sudden, I don't actually understand any of that. I don't get it. I literally need to rewatch it. I don't get it. <laughs> he squirts. He, he, squ- <laughs> he squats. He squats backwards. Sorry. Don't get it. I don't understand. <laughs> all right, so we've got Portia and Terence after what was a chaotic week for them it now seems as though like things are looking up for them both. I go on, go I on. If ever there was not a match. Really? Maybe even not as much as Thomas, uh, uh, Thomas and Ross. Ross. I feel think? like they just, I just don't think they're, they're compatible at all. Interesting. Because I mean, he's wild. He wants to go out till five in the morning. He's a yeah. proper character mm-hmm. and he's not even denying it. No. And, like, and why should he? He shouldn't. What's important is they apolo- apologise to each other. They did. Yes. They did. Someone had to. Yeah, Mel had to get in the middle though that and really kind of like... Yeah, so at that point you're going to... I mean, I wouldn't, but... <laughs> I don't do what Mel tells me to do. Um, they bonded over their shared values. One thing that I do think that they need to work on is, again, having fun together. Mm. I don't know, I just can't see it. Yeah. But maybe I'm wrong, and hopefully I'm wrong. Yeah, very interesting to see what's going to happen with Portia and DJ Terrence. I... Wonder if they'll get physically closer. I reckon they'll have a go. <laughs> That's my guess. Very exciting because it's time to meet one of our gorgeous, and let me tell you now, gorgeous isn't actually a word, stunning brides. It's Portia! <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> So beautiful. As soon as she came in, both me and Adrian were like, oh, oh God. Oh, so no, pretty. guys, don't. No, no come, on. come on. The camera come does on. not do you justice. Oh, my God, thank you. I love you. Good. <laughs> guys, I'm still here. Thank you. Um, so, Portia, things are really turning around for you this week, mm-hmm. which is a p- like pure joy to see because the first week was heavy. Mm. It was heavy, babe. Mm, is drama. That, is that the best word to use? Drama, heavy? Um, it was intense, for sure. Mm. It was definitely intense. Um, I'm working, th- I was, I'm working through emotions. Yeah. Um, I don't, the thing is, I think it was a very um, telling experience of like what I went through and it just showed how human I am in the yeah. sense that like everything you see is exactly how I felt. And I think I'm just so passionate and I am someone who wears their heart on their sleeve. And you just see that coming through. You can see where I'm happy and we're laughing and I'm having a good time. And then when I'm frustrated, you see me kind of showing my frustrations. And I think everything comes from a place of frustration more than anger. Mm -hmm. It was just because I'm so passionate about the situation, the relationship, the marriage, um, the experience and that kind of, yeah, it comes through. But you're human. Oh, for sure. I don't regret any of it. It's definitely how I felt at the time. And I'm one of those people. I'm just like, if I feel something, I'm going to say it or I'm going to show it. And I just can't hide my feelings. And sometimes I do need to reel it in back a bit. And maybe I need to control it. But this was meant to be a learning experience. Mm -hmm. This was meant to be a growth experience. And you definitely do see me grow throughout this experiment. I, I will say this, you you definitely can't hide what you're feeling. Oh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and now we know it's there's there. we know there's some edits, but girl, you were just not happy one day. Like the, do you know what my favorite part is when you were clapping but your face was just like <laughs> no, <I'm sorry. laughs> What is what is it like in that moment when you're getting a sort of like experts or you know l- looking from the outside in? Is it is it hard to take? 
The thing is, with the experts, I always found it really enlightening because I know they have much more experience than me in relationships. Um, and I know that they are wiser than me. So I actually want to take on board what they say. I think I don't like it when the other contributors mm -hmm. put in their two cents because I'm like, guys, 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 guys. First of all, you don't know me. Second of all, you are literally in the same boat as I am. We None of us know what we're doing. Yeah. So yeah. you can't really t help me with this. So I think that was a, a bit annoying. But in terms of the experts... I actually really enjoyed commitment ceremonies. They were probably my favorite part, even though it was hard sometimes to uh, get a dressing down. But this week feels like the dinner party was a bit more fun. We are having a good time this week. Um, <laughs> as you can see, I'm very cuddly with my husband. Yes, um, you look very happy. Yeah, he apologized for Spoongate. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're all waiting to say it's the elephant in the room. I'm literally thinking I want to pull one out of my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, I do eat my cereal with a fork now. But <laughs> PTSD. Brilliant. Brilliant. Like, remove them all from the apartment. Yeah. I know, like, if I see a spoon on the table, I will just, like, waiter. I mean, I'm literally, I'm spoon. thinking, like, one shot if you just launch a spoon at him. I freaking hate spoons. But... Um, <laughs> But this week he apologised and I'm very much like, if you yes. take part of Billy and you apologise, I forgive very there quickly. So it was literally like the moment he said sorry, walls went down and I was like, okay, let's enjoy ourselves now. Well, that's good. Yeah. I'm and you could see that. that. You could yeah. see that. And I, and I loved seeing that between the two of you because I really feel like you both have something to gain from each other. Oh, for sure. 100%. Uh, for sure. I feel like right now we're definitely um, a good partnership. Um, oh, that's good. Yeah, I feel like at that. Like, that was sounded. I'm not entirely convinced I mean, I at the moment. I'm sorry, I no, said no, no. it. No, right now, I'm in, not. on the show, <laughs> we're a very good partnership, for sure. At that moment, yeah, for sure, I was feeling him. Um, and I believe he was feeling me. And I feel I mean, like, who wouldn't? I know. But I feel, but I do think it is. Um, it was still early days. There was a little bit of trust lost and there is a little bit of mistrust, I think, from both of us. Yeah. But I think we're making the best out of the situation and we're like, let's try and get okay. on. And then once we're getting on, then maybe we can start to learn each other more and maybe that trust will come. Yeah. So that's definitely where we are at right now. So, But you're, you're living in kind of the future. So you've kind of been where Porsche's been. Oh, okay. <laughs> so if there was any bit of advice at this point, what could you... What could you say, Adrian? Do you think? Run. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I think you're taking a really good attitude with, you know, if they've taken accountability. And that's part of it. You know, it, it is, I would say, you know, a year on now, I can see actually how much I learned mm. from doing the experiment. I remember on the very last episode, they said on the couch, the experts said, what do you think you'd learned? And I'm like... I don't know, I don't know. But now, now, Looking later, back, I can, can see, see, and that's what the point is, you know. Yeah. It's an amazing thing to be able to walk away and, you know, you've learned to take accountability, you've learned to set boundaries and things mm. like that in life. So you're already recognising that he's doing that. Oh, for sure. And you're accepting of it, so therefore... Sounds like you're on a good track. Before going into this experiment, I didn't even know certain things were a boundary for me. Like, mm. I'm not, like, I, I, I think I explained it during week one, during the first commitment ceremony. Like, I don't come from a world where we insult each other casually. So I didn't even know it would bother me that much. Right. Do you know what I mean? Whereas he also explains that for him, he can casually call his friends childish and they, they wouldn't really budge. And so for him, it's quite normal. And I think you see that difference, that, that clash of culture and that clash of lifestyle like really come into play yeah. there where I'm just like, this is not okay. And he's like, what's the big deal? And I think when it comes to having, being with a stranger, like those are the issues that will come up. And I learned at that moment to set a boundary because I don't really feel like I usually have to set a boundary because, you know, I kind of pick and choose who goes into my life. Who's and in your you environment, I mean? who's Ex in your circle. Exactly. Yeah. If I meet you and I'm not feeling you, then that's it. I don't really, I'm not going to try and teach you how to be around me. Okay. Whereas this one, I couldn't just block him. I couldn't just like <laughs> yeah. walk away. I'm living to the Damn this it. guy. I know. <laughs> I would marry. You could only move the, like two spaces down on the dinner table. So, yeah. exactly. Which you did. Which I tried. Which you did. I, 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 well it done. It wasn't far enough. It wasn't far enough. I had to leave the At room. that time. But we're, um, we're, but we're, we're good now. Exactly. We're moving forward in a more positive way. Yeah. Having fun. Like the smiles on both of your faces looks great. Yeah. Yes. No, we're having a good time for sure. I'm good. starting to feel him. So as this week is Confessions Week, I think we should channel the spirit of openness mm -hmm. between us all. Not that I need to give that advice to you, Adrian. You're very open, aren't you? <laughs> very open book. 
Okay. I actually like that. I have been you. today, haven't you I? You have been today, <laughs> mate, yeah. I think we should play our own round of confessions. Now, I've heard that Paul keeps the honesty box um. in his downstairs, like, bathroom. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. he's got a downstairs bathroom. Of course nice. he does. <laughs> so on this it's podcast... It's got a really nice house, actually. Has it? Have you yeah. been? No, but I've been on Zoom. <laughs> he's oh, not yeah. invited me Shall yet. Shall the other bathroom? Yeah, he's not invited me yet, actually. Rude. <laughs> well, Paul, if you are listening, you should be listening. Invite Adrian. So on this podcast, we're going to play a game of honesty socks. Oh. Do you get it? Yeah, I love mm, a sock. Not honesty You love socks. a sock, I actually really love I don't socks. want you to expand on that. Oh no, she really likes socks. There's nothing dirty about it. It sounds even more dirty. Do you like now. having warm feet? Is that why? Yeah. Oh, fair enough. I'm I'm the same. I've got terrible circulation. I mean, there's a bit of a kink in there. <laughs> Am as I well. on a date with you both? <laughs> Am I? Am I on a date? Right, We're off for dinner. dinner. <laughs> We're gonna have our own dinner party. Oh, God. All right, I've got some statements in in my socks. This That is the golden sock. That's the golden sock. So I've okay. got statements in my sock. If you are the first to confess, you've got to put a sock on your hand. Okay, the first person to be fully socked, that's me, obviously means two hands. Sock, two hands, okay. yeah. Thank you, Portia. Wins the golden sock. So, oh, okay. um, yeah, do you, do you want a buzzer? Yeah, How do we do it? that? Yeah. You, yeah, make, yeah. you make your buzzer then. What is it, Adrian, the sound? Oh, I don't know. Oh, no, I don't like making noises. <laughs> what? <laughs> that is the best statement I have ever. I don't I like making silent, noises. No, I don't. You're the most talkative person I've ever had on the podcast so far. I can make like a word, but I don't like yeah, making noises. Yeah, say a noises. word. Keep it clean, babe. Okay, me. Me. That's right. my word. I'm going to do a sound. Ba, 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 ba. Uh. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Okay, so I've got the statements here. Remember, you're after this. The golden sock. I want it. I want it. Never have I ever accidentally said I love you to someone. No? I no. Okay, no. so it's never been an accident. Good, okay. So really even Stevens. Never have I ever said the wrong name to a partner. Oh, that was very quick. Oh. Yes. Yeah, you have. Yes, I have. It wasn't terrible. I won't tell you. What was the what was the situation? I will not tell you what we were doing. Oh we don't need to be told. I won't tell you what we were doing, but yes, um I was uh my mind was somewhere else. Did you love it? <laughs> I, 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 I think he kind of ignored it. I think yeah, he kind of ignored it because, um, yeah, um, and we didn't speak about it after, and then we ended up. Um, I think he just forgot about it because he he saw we, we saw each other again, and oh. we ended up being in a relationship. So it wasn't so bad. Oh yeah, fine. Yeah. It wasn't so bad. We all make mistakes. Yeah, we all. Sometimes it's it's not good to move on too quickly because <laughs> your mind is somewhere else. Um, but I'm I'm very much like when it's dead and busted, I yeah. want to act like you never existed. So I forget about you. Like, oh, no, I when, do that. oh no, 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 no. I got to block, delete, remove from my life and move on. Yeah. Box it. Yeah. Do you know what? I'm kind of similar. That. Yeah. It's I easier. have many don't answers blocked on my phone. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, yeah. Countless. I just have like, and it's weird when they try and come through from different apps. Hey, stranger. And you're like, right, I need to block you on. Yeah, through don't hate you. Why have Snapchat. them come back to me for advice with their new relationship? Oh, oh no. Blog. Jog Red on. Flag. Blog. Jog on. Get your sock. Get your sock because you're one step closer you're to the golden sock now before this gets a little bit more heated. You bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Never have I ever drunk dialed an ex. Yes. <laughs> I'm taking it. Done it for a few times that. Recently? I haven't had an ex for a while. Um, Never have I ever fallen in love at first sight. No. Oh. Yeah. Me. No, no, no I want the golden no, sock. You can I, have I, the sock. <laughs> you can have the sock. <laughs> She's fuming. You've fallen in love at first sight. Who was it? Do we know him? You actually probably would know them. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I, but I won't not? be, I will not be revealing that name. <laughs> you get the sock. Thank you Thank so you. much. And I am going to be gifting you. Oh, oh that's so oh, sweet. Look at this. I'm like, oh. <laughs> No, honestly, guys, I am still here. <laughs> so, we love you too. I'd just like to flag that we absolutely love a game at Maths UK, it's official. So mm -hmm. as if you didn't think that that was enough, <laughs> we have a, an opportunity for you to, to put your mathematical brains to the test. Good at maths? I'm all right. After a shot. <laughs> um, it's time for hashtag you do the maths. 
<laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's the first laugh. The first laugh I got all podcast. Wonderful. So you're ready to add these up? Okay. I don't know what's coming, but I hope yeah. It's not complicated. Are you all right? No, what was that? It was a little warm, shiver. Babe. Are you warm? Oh, it's the gelée. I know, it's fine. <laughs> fashion. I've got this far. Fashion. Ready? Yeah. yeah. So this week we have had a full house of 14 couples choosing to stay, plus four new intruders, eight different shared values, two grandparents at the top table, one former party boy, and thankfully for Erica, zero pairs of ripped skinny jeans on her wedding day, which makes... 26. Oh my God, thank you. Because I was like, what? I have just guessed it. I literally lost. I just guessed it. You've just guessed it. Is she right? Did I get it? Did I get it? 28. 24. I stopped counting. Stop it. <laughs> it, is, it was 29. Got it. Which is coincidentally the amount of minutes that Jordan took to take his vows. <laughs> <laughs> Did he say yeah a lot? <laughs> Insider knowledge there. Okay, so you guys know what this is. You know what this is, Adrian. How do you feel about having the book there in front of you after all this time? Do you know what? There's one thing that these are very good for, and it's just having a fan. <laughs> that, that was the, that was its major use. Well, I want to thank you both for being on the podcast today. Thank you for joining me. I do feel like I have been the third wheel on a date, which I'm not mad at. It's just nice really to like see this. Ah. <laughs> Yes. Um, I would like to remind you that, you know, I'm a very emotional person. I love very hard. Um, but if you would like to make your own decision, whether you would stay or leave Maths UK, it's official. Oh my God, I'm getting um, PTSD. You know, that is, you know, whatever decision you choose is, it, it's, it's totally up to you. It's totally okay. up to you. I'll just leave you two to decide who goes first. Do you, you want to give a reason? Yeah, I would like a reason. Just for the chance to look at your beautiful face again, Aww. I would definitely stay. Oh, and I got a love heart. Thank you, babes. You're welcome. I did not want to break a habit. <laughs> so I wrote Yes! yes! Oh! And I wrote it in the exact same way every single week when I was on the show because people were giving like emotions and stuff away while they were writing this. I was like, no, no, we'll just be writing today and that's about enough to survive. <laughs> Another week. <laughs> yeah. so, so. Well, you are welcome back, both of you, anytime. Thank you. Anytime, Thank I've had loads you. of fun. Thank you so much for joining us on Maths UK. It's official. Thank you so much to Adrian and Portia for joining me today and make sure you are catching Married at First Sight Monday to Thursday at 9pm on E4. Next week we have more honeymoons to get involved in and it's intimacy week which is very very exciting. Plus fingers crossed Arthur will be back because I've heard he's actually got a bit of tennis elbow. This week I've actually asked Jordan if he would take the time, the excessive amounts of time, to tell me exactly how to finish this podcast. Here we go. You've been on my mind. I've had so many sleepless nights with nerves and excitement, wondering who is wonderfully weird yet beautiful enough to end up here, listening to this podcast. I have finally presented this podcast and the nerves are gone, leaving just the feeling of excitement. Excited about being a part of this wild series, a journey that will be full of highs and lows, just know I'm gonna be here as your podcast bestie every step of the way. You deserve someone who makes you laugh, fills you with excitement, makes you happy. Well, I'll always be here for you to make sure this podcast is the one for you. We'll give it our best shot. Make a formidable team, make each other better and find our way. As long as we're waking up and falling asleep with one another or wherever you listen to your podcast, it will feel like home. I've always been wanting a podcast that's perfectly crazy to the point where people will barely believe or understand it. This might just be that podcast. From me to you, goodbye. Farewell, yours sincerely. See you soon. In another life, maybe. All the best. Safe journey. See you next week. Yasmin Evans. Yeah.